Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for your great support so far. I'm indeed very grateful. The peace in the Nollywood industry, and by extension, a large part of the country, was shattered on Wednesday, the 10th of April 2024, when famous Nollywood actor John Paul Obumneme Odumudu, most popularly known as Junior Poop, and three others were confirmed dead when the boats they were traveling in while returning from a movie set capsized in the Annam River in Anambra State in the southeast region of Nigeria. Doing what he knew how to do best, the actor Junior Poop was working on a Nollywood movie, The Other Side of Life, which is being produced by Adam Maluk. To get to the movie set, the cast and crew had to cross the River Niger. While going to the movie set, Junior Poop had made a video while on the boat asking the driver to move with caution. In the video, the actor pleaded that he was an only child and that he had three young children who he wanted to raise by himself. This was even as he told his fans that actors often took risks in their bid to entertain them. He had said, please reduce the speed. I am the only child of my parents. I have three children that I need to raise. However, upon returning from the same movie set, what Junior Pope feared actually happened, as it turned out to be his last trip ever. He and three other members of the film crew lost their lives when their boat collided with another boat and capsized. He was reported to have been taken to a herbalist when his body was recovered from the river. He was also said to have been taken to a morgue where he was said to be alive. However, when he was taken to the hospital, he was declared clinically dead. If you have watched this video to this point and you have not subscribed, please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also click on the bell icon so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you. Shortly after the news of his demise initially went viral, hopes were raised when news also circulated that Junior Pope was alive. In an Instagram post, Emeka Rolas, who is the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, had written, What God cannot do does not exist. Junior Pope is alive. He is taking treatment in the hospital. According to rumors that spread like wildfire online, his body was taken to the morgue, and a mortuary attendant was reported to have said the actor was alive and asked that he be taken to the hospital. Another actor who was at the scene, Stanley, later made a video stating that Junior Pope was taken to the water side for some rituals to be conducted for him to come back to life. However, as anxiety continued to rise, Emeka Rulas deleted his earlier post, plunging the actor's fans and Nigerians into further confusion as regards the actor's condition. Some hours later, it was finally revealed that Junior Poop had died. Emeka Rulas stated that his earlier announcement that Junior Poop was alive was out of excitement when they noticed the tingling of his fingers. He wrote, It is so sad that our joy was short-lived. My first post was out of excitement when we noticed his tingling fingers. Two notable hospitals tried their best to revive him, but to no avail. God knows best, we finally lost him. Amidst the drama online, Nollywood actor Jerry Amilo received severe bashing for posting a video of Junior Pope's lifeless body on a hospital bed with cotton wool used to block his nostrils. In the said video, Amilo could be seen standing by the bed with Emeka Rulas and another actress. Making a U-turn, Jerry Amilo later made an apology video the next day. He said, I am making this video because my attention has been called by fans who have been with me through thick and thin regarding the posts I made concerning Junior Pope's demise. Those who know me are aware that I don't chase clout. It is only a pity that the post got to people the way it did. I made the post to clear the confusion of people calling and wondering if he has truly passed away or not. My intention was never to chase clout. I am a realist. And if the post hurts people, I am sorry. As the sad reality of the demise of Junior Pope and the others began to dawn on many, several questions were raised. The most prominent being that, why did the actors and crew members cross such an expansive river without life jackets? Some also questioned why cardiopulmonary resuscitation was not immediately performed on the actor when he was brought out of the water, and why he was first taken to the morgue and a native doctor instead of a hospital. However, an actor and one of the survivors, T.C. Okafor, claimed that as the boat ride began, he spread some cash and soft drink into the water for appeasement. According to him, only the movie director and the director of photography wore life jackets on the boat. However, some people also reported that according to the customs of the community, noise should not have been made while traveling on the water on a market day. It was reported that T.C. Okafor had rang a bell while on the boat, an act that is reportedly considered a taboo. The movie producer should have made inquiries about the do's and don'ts of this community before picking there for her movie set. Explaining further on how the accident happened, T.C. Okafor said, I asked them to put their phones in their pockets, but after a while, Junior Pope started making a video. 
as the video was going on, the captain, who was behind Junior Poop, was more focused on his head appearing in the video that Junior Poop was making. I noticed a small canoe ahead of our boat, and I was telling the captain to watch out for it, but because the captain had earphones on and was possibly playing music, he did not hear me talking. By the time he heard and saw the canoe, it was too late. Our boat hit the tail end of the canoe and capsized. He added that he survived because he held onto the rope of the boat as it capsized. He also stated that some people who witnessed the accident quickly rushed to save them with their boats. The policemen that went to the waterside expressed frustration, stating that they had repeatedly advised filmmakers to obtain life jackets and adhere to safety precautions before crossing the river. However, many filmmakers ignored these warnings, preferring to avoid the expense by crossing independently. A few hours after the demise, the leaders of the community sent a message to the Actors Guild of Nigeria and Junior Pope's family that the body of the deceased be buried at the water side because Junior Pope died in the water on a market day. It was further revealed that if this is not done, that there will be spiritual consequences. As colleagues and fans of the deceased continued to mourn, many actors decried the poor standards that are a norm in most movie sets. Angered by the loss of the talented individuals, an actress, Sarah Martins, blamed Adam Maluk for their demise. She wrote, Finally, we lost him. Very low-budget movie, trying to raise local standards without providing the necessary amenities. Now, we've lost a star, a father, a son, a brother, a husband, and innocent crew members hustling to feed their families. Adam Maluk, you do this one. However, reacting to Sarah Martins' posts, another actress, Destiny Etiko, cautioned her, stating that it was not the right time to start pointing fingers. She wrote, there is time for everything, Sarah. This is totally wrong. Reacting also to the sad news, popular actress Iniedo wrote, Junior Pope did not have to sacrifice his life for Nollywood to realize the need for a long and much needed regulatory structure that would safeguard an entire production. The system has to undergo a total overhaul with practical rules and regulations that cater to everyone in cases of emergencies. Rest on, brother. This one cuts really deep. In the wake of the demise of the actor and crew members, there have been diverse reactions from different stakeholders in the industry, including the Actors Guild of Nigeria and Directors Guild of Nigeria. Evidently, as a way of mourning the disease, the Actors Guild of Nigeria ordered that there should be no activities or movie sets on Thursday, 11th of April, 2024. This was even as it slammed an indefinite ban on Adam Maluk and her movie, The Other Side of Life. The Actors Guild of Nigeria released a statement which read, in part, Following the tragic boat mishap that claimed the life of Mr. John Paul Odonwodo, a.k.a. Junior Pope, and four other crew members at the water side of River Niger, Asaba, on a movie set titled The Other Side of Life, produced by Adam Maluk, the leadership of the guild has taken the following decisions. All films that involve riverine areas and boat riding are hereby suspended indefinitely. No shoots on all locations nationwide on Thursday, 11th of April, 2024. Also, the film titled Another Side of Life is suspended indefinitely. No actor is allowed to work with Adam Maluk as a producer till further notice. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'm indeed very grateful. Please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly click on the bell icon so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. You can also watch any of my other videos by clicking on any of the links on the screen before they disappear. You may kindly share this video if you can. Until my next video, stay blessed.